everyone welcome to a new video so in this video we're going to solve a more complex array related coding problem as you can see on the screen similarly i will also share my previous video that was related to strings and array related coding problem i did receive good feedback on my linkedin but uh, people didn't much uh, you can say interacted on my youtube video comment section as i asked that people if you're solving coding problems then definitely comment your answer uh, so I hope that you will interact with this video and comment down your thoughts because if you do not interact then I hope I will not be posting more SDET coding related uh, Q&A and I will focus more on the latest technologies. So let's start with this video and in this video we are going to solve this intersection of two arrays. You can see we have two arrays like nums1 and nums2 okay and we need to return an array of their intersection. So we need to return a new array with the intersection of these two input arrays. Okay. So this is the problem. And if you read the example, right? So one, two, two, one and nums is two, two over here. If you come back, right? So you can see one is occurring two times on index zero and three and two is occurring two times on index one and two. Similarly for nums two, it occurs two times. So we might need to return a new array in which two occurs two times, right? So that is what the intersection looks like. So to write this code, I will give you a brief understanding or a hint so that you can practice and you can watch the video to get more detailed understanding. So I will be using a hash map to maintain the occurrence, the count of occurrence. Okay, suppose like one is occurring two times. So I need to make sure that that occurrence count is being intact. Okay, so that's why I will use key value pair and hash map will be used. You can use hash map. You can use linked hash map to maintain the order. Okay, it does not matter because the problem itself says you may return the result in any order. So if you want to maintain the order, then you can use linked hash map. Otherwise, we can go with normal hash map. Okay. And then secondly, uh, we need to use another data structure that will help us to make sure whatever elements that are occurring in hash map or a map, right? We need to make sure that that count is subtracted and then the same element is added to the data structure. Okay. And how easily we can add elements into a data structure what kind of data data structure can that be you need to think that because the problem itself is a basic because we need to just use two loops and we can iterate through the loops to get the array inputs okay and then we can just add it to our hash map and to the second data structure so the hint is that it is a very easy list based data structure okay so if you get an idea and i have given the answer itself so I hope that you will be able to solve the answer of uh, the question and let's go to my code editor and let's start coding. So if you got the answer, then I would ask you to stop the video or like pause the video for some time and then try to solve it. Okay, so I will name it like intersection of two arrays. Okay. I created a new class over here. Okay. And I will write down my code like public static void main RGS. Okay, so this is my main method. Now I will create a new function uh, which I will create like public static, obviously. And I need to return an array, right? So that's why I will be doing an int and then square brackets. I will name it like find enter section okay okay so now i will accept two arrays that will be int nums1 comma int nums2 right and once i get this okay so now i need to create a new map as i told right so map and then I will keep first like the key to be integer and over here the value will also be integer. Okay. And then I will create it like this and then new hash map. Okay. If you want, you can also use linked hash map if you want. Okay. It does not matter that much over here because problem does not ask us to uh, maintain the order as I ex already explained. Right. So this is what it looks like now. You create a new hash map. Now I will use a for loop to iterate through the problem. Okay, let me just 
close this one okay and i will use int i equal to 0 i will be less than what nums one dot length okay and then i plus plus also if you get the answer or you are able to solve it then please solve it on notepad or else write it down on a pen and paper okay that will help you to retain the logic better in your mind so over here what we basically need to do we need to find first if that value already exists in the map or not okay so map dot contains key okay and uh, in this what we need to do is we need to check whether nums1 at the index i exists in the map or not okay so i'll make it like negate okay i will make sure that if this key is not added then i will put it inside my map and how will i put it so whatever value i have on nums index i right i will input that one with an value as one okay similarly in my else block what i'll do i will quickly add this statement in which i will add map dot put okay and over here what i'll do obviously i will add the value which is at ith index and they will uh, i will get that particular value okay so i need to send the key so that's why i'm sending nums one at the rate i index whatever value i get right so i will need to increment that by one so that's why i'm adding one okay suppose uh, for example if we go over here right so one two to one so if i find one for the first time in my if condition so that will pass right and it will add one with the value as one then it will go to the second or uh, first index and then it will check this value two okay and for this value again it will it does not exist in my map so it will make sure to add this with a uh, value as one but for the second time or uh, moving to the second index it checks for two right so two already exists so then it will increment that value and make sure the value is two now okay so that is what we are trying to do i hope you got the logic now once you have added this so this is fine and now we can go out of this for loop okay so our hash map is ready now so now what we need to do is this is the main logic okay so we are going to use list data structure why i am using list data structure i will just explain in some time okay so bear with me for some time so i will name it like list okay and then i will create a new array list and then this is that i will import that once i have imported it then i will create another for loop okay so this is a good practice that is why i'm writing list okay so make sure you can use this references like this okay instead of just directly creating the array list class okay try to use interfaces and then cast it to the class okay the way we do it in a web driver selenium web driver okay so we create web driver driver equal to new chrome driver so that is what the best practice looks like so i hope you got this logic and then with this i will write another uh, for loop i will keep it like zero j equal to zero then j will be less than nums to dot length okay because uh, we have already iterated through and added the values of nums one in this map right and then we need to check for nums two because we are going to find the intersection and then j plus plus okay once this is done then what we need to do is we need to check uh, with a condition right so if the value which we are trying to find exists in the map okay so whatever value that we get okay so let's let me move this outside so what happens is map will be checked okay so the map which we created the hash map that will be checked in this if condition so what basically i'm going to check is like uh, for value one does it exist in the nums two no it does not exist then it will check for uh, value that is key that is two okay so does this key exist in the map right it exists and nums two also has two so that's why that if condition will be executed so that is what we are going to check now so to check that we just bring it down so map dot contains key okay and with this key what we need to pass we need to check for nums two at the red i index if this works okay so this will be j for now and if this is there then we need to check map dot get okay so this logic i will explain you in some time so map dot get and what we need to send we need to send the value that will be at j index and this should be greater than zero 
why this should be greater than zero i will explain you in just time uh, some time so now what we need to do is we need to whatever list we created right so we need to add that value because we found an intersection so that value will be nums to at j index and now the main logic okay so we need to update our map okay so whatever value that we get on nums2 with j index right after that we need to update our map value okay key we are adding the same thing okay because duplicate keys does not does not exist so if we keep on updating the key value right so it will retain the latest value that we send okay because hash map and the key value pairs key cannot be duplicate okay so the same value can only be repeated in the map okay so that's why i'm just updating it directly over here okay and it does not matter because we are finding the intersection and once we found the intersection then we need to get the latest value okay so this latest value will be nums2 at j index okay and then whatever value that we get we need to reduce it by one okay because what will happen our map will be uh, showcasing so what i will do i once i will run this code right i will explain you with the debug statement how does it work okay so this value will be subtracted so suppose like for uh one key okay it will be two value in the map similarly for two key it will be value will be two similarly now whenever we are adding the same value within the list right so we need to reduce it by one so that is the logic until we do not reduce this then the for loop will keep on running because this if condition will be true every time okay so that is what we need to do once this is done right so this if condition will run only two times because two exist only two times okay and rest for else we are not going to write so this is done now what we need to do we need to convert our list okay so we need to create a new array first because at the end of the day we need to return a integer array if you read the problem right so we need to return an integer array so where it is so you may return result in any order each element must be there shows in both arrays and you may return the result okay so return an array of their intersection so that is what we need to do so if i go back now i'm just going to create a new array that will be intersection arr equal to new int okay and square brackets what we do we need to pass the size of the list okay because what is the length of the integer array so that will be decided by the list size method okay because this will give us the length or maybe the size of the list so how many elements does ex exist in the list okay so that is what it will return us so this will be an integer value so we need not to convert it anything so this is done now to add the values to the integer array obviously we need to create another for loop so that will be int k equal to zero k will be less than the intersection array because we have already passed our length of list in this okay so let me just copy this uh, close this one copy this paste it over here and then make it length and then k plus plus okay then what i need to do i just need to add the value so intersection array at k index equal to list dot get method and we need to just pass because it's an array list so it maintains the indexes so we need to just pass the k over here okay then this is done and now we can finally return our new array okay that will be return intersection array and i can just terminate this one and now what i'll do i'll just quickly go and copy these two let's see whether the answer that we are trying to get it works or not okay so paste it here and then make sure int nums1 convert this to curly braces okay close this one and then close this as well okay so we have two arrays ready now so we not just need to do system dot out dot print ln now okay and arrays dot to string because we are returning array okay so this will be done and once we do this we need to just find our intersection method 
and pass our input okay so i think this looks great so let's try to run this for the first time and then we will add the debug statements that we discussed we reduce the size a little bit okay so it is running for now okay so the intersection that we got is correct okay so let me just minimize it a little bit and then what we need to do so to explain the logic right what i'll do i'll just add this system dot out dot print statement here and I'll, i will just map output okay and i will add my map over here okay so this map and then over here that we get so system dot out dot println again i will add output map uh, decree mented okay and i will add my map over here as well so with this you will get the logic how it is working let's try to run this quickly okay so you can see map output one equal to two and two equal to two that is completely correct now our if condition executed two times that is what we discussed right so one equal to two and two equal to one so for the first time when it went inside the if condition it checked that yeah two exists in the map okay and for nums two two is also present so then it went inside the if condition and it also checked with this condition that it is greater than zero or not the value that we received okay so it is greater than zero so that means it will execute this condition and reduce the input of two key with by one okay so that is why you can see two equal to one okay so this is the value and this is the key okay similarly for the second time when it executed it set it to zero and then after that it didn't execute so that is what it looks like and uh, with this we just added our values to the array so i hope you got the logic and this problem helped you to understand how and when we need to use a map and when we need to use a list or maybe a array list more uh, specifically solution that we created right so we have read, uh, run that code in our code editor now let's try to run that code in lead code right so let's just go down and this is the code editor that lead code offers okay so if you're practicing then you can use this as well that is also good so i'll just paste my code over here okay so this is the exact code that we written in the video right so let's try to run this one and see whether it is working or not so my answer is this one and expected is this so that looks correct and let's submit this code now once we submit let we can just see how many test cases got run and how many test cases got passed so accepted basically means that all the test cases that lead code had has been run successfully and if you click on this more details button right so we will get to see what is the time and space complexity so this is the time one and we beat almost 90.7 submissions and then if we go down we can also see our memory that is space complexity okay so this also looks fine because it is more than 50 percent so that looks good uh, obviously if you want you can practice more uh, towards this solving more coding challenges because it will help you to create more uh, specific solutions which can help you improve your time and space complexities okay i will keep on learning and i will keep on sharing my learning so if you like this video then definitely share this with your linkedin network because it helps me to reach more people and obviously uh, if you like these videos, then interaction will be great for me as well. So let's meet in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.